The story of creation, it's Genesis 1, 1 through 31, 2 through 1 through 3. In the beginning, darkness was everywhere, but God had a plan. On the first day, God separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God separated the sky above from the water below. On the third day, God made the flat land, mountains, and hills. He also created plants of every kind and color. On the fourth day, God put the sun into the in the sky for daytime and the moon and, and the stars for nighttime. On the fifth day, God created sea creatures of every kind and color. He created the birds to fly across the sky. On the sixth day, God made all the animals that roam the land. God made man in his own image. God saw everything and said it was good. On the seventh day, God rested. All right, welcome to our VBS. We're doing this completely differently than we normally do. Typically, we get to meet together and be in person, so we're trying this out. Hopefully, you find these videos and can use them to work through these uh, awesome lessons. So, welcome, and uh, I get to explain the stories a little bit. Some, some other folks are reading the stories and doing an awesome job with that, with those videos. I get to break them down a little bit and talk about them. So today, or for this video, we get to start with creation, all right? We get to start in the very beginning when God is creating. And here's what I want you to do. You can pause this video. So go ahead and pause this video. Wait, don't pause it just yet. Hang on. Let me explain first what you're going to do. Then pause it. So when you pause it, I want you to go walk around your house and I want you to find any artwork that you can. You don't have to take it off the wall, but just find it. Look for artwork, your artwork, your parents' artwork, photos, paintings that they've hung. Just walk around and take a look at any painting. Then come back after you're done, okay? So pause, go do that. All right, now that you're back from walking around looking at painting, I wanted to talk about the artists of those paintings. When you look at a painting, you don't get to see the artist, but you look at their work, something they've created. And you can learn something about the artist by looking at the artist's work. So you might look at an artist's painting and realize, hey, this artist really likes the color blue. I see blue everywhere. Or you might uh, see a series of artwork, and you might see, hey, these are different, but they look the same. This artist really likes to paint flowers, maybe, because you might see that artist has painted a lot of flowers in different paintings. Well, you know what? The same thing is true about God, the artist. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video again. But this time, I want you not to walk around your house. I want you to walk outside, and I want you to take a look around at all of God's great artwork around you. And I want you to see what you can learn by looking at God's art, God's creation. So go out and hit pause. Go out and take a look. I want you to write down any colors you see, all the different colors you see, all the different type of animals, all the different sounds, all the different smells and uh, write down a list and then come back to me. Okay, so hit pause and go do that. All right, what did you learn? Well, here's one thing I bet you learned is that God loves a lot of different types of artwork. You probably saw lots of colors, greens and yellows and browns and blues and reds and pinks and whites and oranges and, and I could go on and on, all of the colors. And you probably saw lots of different types of birds or saw different kinds of animals. You probably heard lots of different types of noises. 
And then, of course, you can even just look at people and you can see that every person God created is different in some way. God loves diversity. God lo- diversity is a big word. Diversity means l- differences. God loves lots of different things and loves and values everything the same. And your story that somebody read about creation, every day God makes something different. And we're told every day that God says, it is good. Now, in our VBS this week, we're going to talk a lot about water, water things. And in the story of creation, water is kind of like the beginning thing. And for people who, in the Bible days, um, thought about God and thought about water, water was kind of scary when the Bible was written way back when, because it was mysterious. Lots of people didn't know what was underneath the water. But we know now that there's lots of cool things underneath the water, lots of diversity, fish, plants, animals, all sorts of things. And God's uh, love of diversity shows up there too. But back then they didn't know that. It was kind of scary. So they looked at water both as a scary thing, but also as a a marvelous, wonderful thing. And in the story, we're told that God brings good things out of that. And we're going to see throughout this week that God constantly works with water to show love to God's creation. So today, I want you to think about God, or with this video, I want you to think about God the Creator, how God loves so many different things and loves to create so many different things and loves them all the same okay so i hope you have fun the rest of the day with your creation explorations and science and different things thanks for joining us for this video